Hello guys, my name is Vesco and this is my first Dreamweaver CS5 tutorial about uh, how to make your own website, basic website. But you know, it's a start. So please excuse me if I, if I make some uh, mistakes or my language is not uh, very appropriate. So first, this is if you buy or already bought your Dreamweaver like me <laughs> or you can uh, download it from Adobe web's website and you can use it like for a trial version for 30 days so when you open your Dreamweaver this is the window that is going to be appear at first so create new HTML click here and this is your first page let's say it like this for example, if, if we write something here and then we click on this icon preview in Firefox or whatever browser you want click yes and you have to save it somewhere so in order to do that you have to create your for example, I have created here a new folder on my desktop it's called YouTube web website so when you so all the files and all the pages that you are creating now have to go somewhere and uh, it should be in this folder so when we already done this writing preview in Firefox yes uh, go on your des desktop and then find your folder for your web website here it is YouTube website click here say ok and here this is your first page in in the internet so it's nothing now but it's going to be so go back to the Dreamweaver and delete this uh, go to these icons here if you don't have them go to window application bar now they disappear but go to application bar again tick them and there appears so click here and click new site so this is how you want to name your site I'm going to name it YouTube YouTube tutorial okay and I want to choose file uh, locate self, site folder you want to choose your uh, the folder that you already created so go on the desktop or whatever you you created it find it youtube website here and uh, click save and everything that you make with this website is going to go in this folder it, this is very important so now we have created we have created uh, the folder so this is our first uh, our first HTML page so uh, look here it says untitled 4 and here it says untitled 4 so we want to rename it click right button edit rename and write down index this is the index.html this is the first uh, the first page you should have because Google is always looking for this page first so I will explain in my later tu tutorial so uh, rename it like this and click here so now we, we want to wait just a second yes and when you rename it click on it and it, this name index is going to be the same like this so delete this delete this so now we should start to fill our blank uh, first lab, uh, web, web, uh, web page with uh, content so first of all what you want to do here it doesn't have to be untitled document so when you when you rename this here when you type something here it appears here this is my personal website I'm a photographer so it's about photography and here is how it's 
uh, when you type somewhere something here title now it's on title document it's going to be uh, it's going to appear here selling images make a gif or whatever you write and this is a favicon the little icon but I'm going to explain how to do it in the next tutorial so click here and type first web page so when you click on the preview browser in Firefox for me click save changes ok and when you go to to the browser here uh, it's not anymore untitled document it's first web page so click here now we started from somewhere so this is the design that you see what you're doing this is the code of your HTML it, it contains a head body and you can see it like your code and your design I almost always like work on the design but it's very personal so first thing uh, I'm going to build this website with div tags so you can either insert it okay first <laughs> uh, first let's make it like to have some background now when you're on your first page it's blank it, it, it looks like nothing so click page properties uh, go to appearance and background image browse it and you have to find your folder where you uh, downloaded your images or your buttons or whatever you want so I didn't put anything yet I haven't put anything yet so this is my um, desktop folder YouTube website create new folder right and type down images so now it doesn't have anything in it so I have to put a few pictures there uh, just let's see which ones this one this one or whatever or this one okay I'm going to copy close my folder and I'm going to paste them when you click on your desktop now we we have for see in our page in our folder we have now our in the index HTML page and our images folder so click paste and we have like now we have only this image okay doesn't matter you understand so when you so back from the beginning page properties appearance background image browse search your folder with the images that you've pasted there and click OK and then click apply so now it doesn't look like anything but you can preview it in Firefox so this is your first image in in internet so close it go back uh, in order to uh, not to be like this as you see you have to adjust your image because my image now is 950 to uh, four to I don't know how many how much but uh, you, you have to adjust your picture in Photoshop to 140 see the ruler in order to be here you have to adjust your size image your Im uh, the, the size of your image uh, until 140 100 uh, 1450 okay so for now I'll just leave it here but if you want to be like like mine website you have uh, you have to adjust it to to be on the on the whole screen so now we have a background image already so we will click on this icon or if you don't have this menu go insert layout object flat div tag and this is your first div tag and you can start to put uh, to create 
to put content in your div tag so uh, you can resize it if you want see down here we, uh, we chose the div tag and down here are the numbers uh, for the div tag so you can either do this see the numbers are changing down there you can do it like this or you can just like put whatever you want 400 to 200 okay when you click ok it's going to be resized resize to the exact numbers you want okay go here and click click this icon it's to insert another div tag so you just drag and drop and it has a different size from our first div tag so come here click on the div tag do 400 and do 200 200 so now our two div tags are totally the same we can move it wherever we want so it's like to be like this and I'm going to do one more div tag it's going to be like for the header it doesn't matter how uh, it does matter how much you want how big you wanted it to be so um, here here the, uh, these two when you click on the div tag these two are for for the size of the div tag and these two are for the uh, for the space that the div tag is from the ruler so if we type down 20 and 20 